Shepard Mallory. I'm gonna say those names again. Those are, those are some untold names too. Frank Baker, James Townsend, and Shepard Mallory changed the course of American history. They appealed for protection. General Butler held their fate. Butler granted them freedom behind Fort Monroe's gates. Thousands, thousands of Africans across the country heard the call that would eventually set them free. Make it to the gates of Fort Monroe and the Union would protect these. These new freedmen and freedwomen became known as contrabands of war. And through their will for freedom, they would set the stage for the emancipation of thousands more. August of that same year, Hampton was set on fire by hate. General Magruder led 500 Confederates to burn every building and every gate. But even through it all, we continued to forge on with grace. I was hired as a teacher at Fort Monroe, and now I was standing at Freedom's Gates. My classroom grew from six to 50 people in what seemed like overnight. I finally saw the tables turning. Indeed, I saw the light. I saw hope. I saw joy. I saw possibility in the eyes of the people that I was, that I was teaching how to read. Welcoming those newly free and the children of the formerly enslaved, I was hired by the American Missionary Society as the first African-American woman of that organization who promoted education and equality of the race. I held my class outside for some time, just like this. And then I was gifted Brown Cottage for my school. It was an exciting time. It was the end of those unjust rules. Liberator of the minds is what I was. It's because I believe that everyone had a right to education. When I look back, I will always be most proud of what I was fortunate to see. The light that shines in someone's eyes when they realize they move, don't they move for y'all.